and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi, folks. I'm Bob Schroep, physical therapist. Brad Heine, physical therapist. You're the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Hey, Brad, we're going to talk about five-minute jump rope, H-I-I-T, high-intensity interval training yes. workout. It's a beginner to advance, right. developed by Brad Heineck. There you go. Uh, I'm not the original one, but you know, this is... You didn't invent the jump rope? Or the, <laughs> the exact routine, but this, I kind of personalize it that fits me, and I think it'll work good for beginners up to, up to advance. With as old as you are, we probably could have convinced people you didn't invent it. By the way, if you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Yes, you want to join us on our social media channels, too, because we're always giving something away. Yes. Uh, right now, we're giving away the Pro Slant. This is a stretch out stretch uh, device for your calves. Uh, you get actually two of them. Uh, give one to a friend or a spouse or a family member or something. Yeah. I gave it to my wife. She uses it below her standing table. Sure. So she so, stretches her calves yeah. while she works. So go to Facebook.com or Facebook and Bob and Brad. It's pinned to the top of the page or Bob and Brad website under mm. the giveaway section. All right. Let's go to work, Brad. Okay. Well, let's you go to work. <laughs> so we did a little jump rope weight thing of the a balance and uh, or a posture and a hit r routine just not too long ago. But then someone said, comment said, could you do one for a beginner jump roper? And I said, well, might as well. Sure. So I've been jump roping on and off since I was in high school, but more off than on. But recently I was doing some interval training running. I pulled a muscle in my groin and it's like, maybe I'm getting told for this sprinting stuff so i'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna use jump rope from now on this summer to get my heart rate up for interval training i usually go 30 seconds on 30 seconds rest do that five times with the jump rope and i am completely exhausted and today we're going to go a little bit less just for demonstration purposes right, right? yeah so we're going to go 20 seconds on and 20 brad seconds you, off. do you usually stretch your calves a little bit before you do this yeah yeah and, the, and if you got a slant board yeah the, the pro slant that's a really nice way to stretch the calf muscles are taking a lot of the stress during this. Oh, I'd say. right, so for you, sure. So you really do want to, uh, you know, start with a stretch yep. and maybe even a little bit of warm up, right? Yep. You can stretch like this and stretch like this, get those calves going. You know, you may want to work this because you really need to work on your posture when you jump rope. If you want to jump rope properly and have success, uh, you can do some trunk rotations. And I don't suggest a big warm up. Actually, I, I do always it. like jumping jacks yep. because. It warms you up. It gets the calf muscles a little warmed up, but it, it's warmer. It's going to get the engine going a little bit, too. You bet. The heart rate going. I actually say this after I get done doing my banding, so I'm warmed up, so I really don't have to do that at home. But uh, if you didn't put that warm-up in there. Now, beginners, if you don't have a jump rope and you're going to buy one, uh, because jump roping makes training more fun for me. It gives sure. you something to think about. It's a skill. And it breaks up the monotony of sometimes training, which can get old if you're doing the same thing after a few months. But if you get a jump rope, make sure you get one that swivels. See how that spins? That's really critical. Otherwise, a jump rope knots up and it turns. Sure. Yeah, it's very irritating. Uh, so get a, a better jump rope. You'll be much happier. Make I would sure... take one that has a little more weight to it, too. Yep. Am I right, Brad? Yeah. This one is just kind of a solid rubber. It's flexible, and it's working fine. If it's too long, if, when you go like this, like right here, Bend your elbows at about this, and it's touching right there. That's a good, sure. It's a good length. I actually had to adjust this when I cut off about six inches. It was made for a taller person. It was no big deal, and get the proper length. Those are really critical. Beginners, before we get into the the uh, interval training, so shoulders need to be back like this. It makes a big difference on your posture and where the rope hits the ground. You want the rope to hit the ground underneath your feet so you don't step on it, and then you. you you it's a problem. It. Yeah, it's a problem. You stop jump roping. Well, I think, Brad, you know, the, uh, the thing that's surprising about this that you were telling me is how much this does work on your posture. Your posture muscles actually fatigue. Right. So is, between so. my shoulder blades, I'm back like this, and I'm doing this. Works sure. the rotator cuff muscles, works those postural muscles in your back, and that's where I feel a lot of fatigue. So, you know, just get, get going, you know, if you're a beginner, and I feel pretty good there, and just start out slow. Now, the next thing is learn to relax. My shoulders are relaxed as they can be while maintaining posture, and I'm breathing, 
and every now and then this will happen. Eh, well, then you got to get going again. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Be patient. That's right. You'll get better and better at yeah. it. That happened again. But you just look at that. <laughs> And that, that may happen to you as well. Yeah, well, it's good that you're demonstrating this, Brad. Yeah, exactly. I know you did that on purpose. It took right? a long time to practice that so I can yeah, get it. Hey. Okay, so <laughs> a little, little, little jump break there. in there, but that's okay. Uh, well, once you get comfortable jumping and you think you're ready for your interval, interval training, what I do is I take my cell phone, I set it for 35 seconds because it takes me a little time to hit the go button before I start jumping. I want to get my full 30 seconds in and then when i hear the beep i stop and i definitely need a little rest sure okay are we ready so we're just going to do 20 seconds today yep. and if you're a beginner you may want to do even 10 seconds exactly right? so. just be relaxed with it. if you're a beginner just take your time you will get better and it'll work you very well i'm going to do five different jumping styles easy and by the fifth one it's the really hard one so you pick whichever one works for you and i actually alternate it when i do mine are you ready bob and go and we'll just start out so i'm thinking about being relaxed just taking my time get my jumps in why don't you show from the side too brad oh good idea there you go okay five, Tom, five more seconds five more seconds good three two one and stop okay so then now, you rest up in between. Yep. And you just kind of so rest. So the beginner may just do this. Right. Yeah, Five okay. times like that. Yep. Mm -hmm. Got it. And if you haven't jumped rope and you're getting into it, you will get very fatigued, especially when you first start because you'll be real tight, most people are. And as you get better, you loosen up, but then you go faster. So you will always get plenty fatigued in your yeah, heart. You're doing rate. about even on, even off. So 20 on, 20 yep. off. Okay. Are we ready? Yeah, we're ready. Go. Oh, oh. Now, I like this one. It's the jogging one. <laughs> For me, it wasn't too much harder to progress to this, and it's just a little more fun. I could see for some people that it might even be easier. Yeah. Maybe. Yep. And you can pick up the speed. Yep. That's 20 seconds already, Brad. Already? Whoa. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, right now I can feel it between my shoulder blades because I'm holding back. I'm going to do a little stretch using the rope while I relax. Yeah, it's a great time uh, in between while you're getting your rest to go ahead and, and yep. do, do, do a little resting. But, All but right, Brad, I, we're about ready to go again here. This one I call the Irish dance. All right. I'll okay. start normal, and then I'll one and then wow. the other. So the feet go out in front. Nice. And then we got 10 seconds. Five seconds, three, two, one, and you're done. Woo. Wow. <sighs> so so I can see if you went for 30 seconds, you're going to get your heart rate. Oh, up. yeah. Yeah. And if you remember, recall, we did a video where when you do a workout, a high-intensity workout, it's the equivalent of doing, like, much longer jogging. Like, I mean, it can be equivalent to a half hour of jogging. Yeah, that's what they say. That's what they say. Uh, <laughs> all right, Brad, you're ready. We're ready to go again. Oh, okay. And after oh, a bit, you I... can start out like that. Oh, I'll do another video for that. Okay, the two-legged hop. This is when I see boxers doing oh. Muhammad Ali. Two on each, each leg. Yep. Gotcha. And... I think I lost track of the time. Watch this down. <laughs> That's so, right. Watch out for the light there, Brad. I, I noticed that. Yeah. Okay, so you got one left to do yet? This is my hardest one, and this is for the really advanced. If you can do the double skip for 30 seconds, man, my hat's off to you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> do you do it for 30 seconds? No. You I'm working don't? on it. Oh. I usually miss a skip, and I All have right. to start over. Well, just start when you want to start, Brad. I'll go 20 <laughs> seconds. Okay, so how are you avid jump ropers? I'm sure there's people that can do this very easily. Sure. But I'm not one of them. So I'll start one at a time and then. Oh, yeah, that's intense. I'm tight. I start leaning forward. Here we go. Yeah, it's tough to do. I can see that. I was just doing them yesterday at home. I did it for about 20 seconds. You're under stress now, Brad. Uh, yeah. Sorry about that. You did a good job, Brad. Whew. Bravo. Well done. Well done. Thank you. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching.